In this video, you're going to learn the easiest method of cracking Wi-Fi passwords using BetterCap with its web UI and AirCrackNG. In order to capture Wi-Fi handshakes to crack, you will need a Wi-Fi card that can operate in monitor mode. You can check with the manufacturer of your network card to see if monitor mode is available. Also, you need to have BetterCap and AirCrack installed and configured. You can find a link to both tools in the description. In order to crack Wi-Fi handshakes, you need to capture some first. To do this, open the BetterCap web UI and start capturing. Every time a device connects to a wireless network, it completes a handshake with the access point. You can either wait for a device to reconnect to a wireless network and capture the handshake that way, or you can try and deauthenticate an existing device and therefore force it to reconnect. To deauthenticate a device from a wireless network, select the target device's MAC address in BetterCap and click Deauthenticate. You can also deauthenticate all devices from a wireless network by selecting Deauthenticate Devices from the BSSID dropdown. The deauthenticated clients will try to reconnect to the network, initiating handshakes that you can capture in the process. Once you manage to capture a handshake, a small red key is displayed next to the wireless network. You are now ready to try and crack the password. The easiest method to crack a captured handshake is called a dictionary attack, in which word lists are used to find the password. Word lists contain a list of potential passwords that can be checked against the captured data. The most well-known password list is rockyou.txt. Dictionary attacks are easy to carry out but are also limited to the passwords on the list. If the password you're looking for is not on the list, you will not get a result. To start the cracking process, you can use the following command. Aircrack will start to go through every entry on the list and compare it against the captured data. If a match is found, Aircrack will stop and present the password. The result in this case is Pizza Party, a word on the word list. As I already said, dictionary attacks are the simplest way to start cracking Wi-Fi passwords. Dictionary attacks do not have a high chance of success, since most routers these days use randomly generated letters or long sequence of numbers. There are more sophisticated methods that you can use, such as mask attacks, but these require in-depth knowledge of the target and sometimes even social engineering. That's a topic for another video. Until next time, bye!